Hello everyone and welcome back to the Chassis Variant Series with myself, Critical Rocket, and here we are with the Cicada still. We're on with our next model, the Cicada 3MA. Uh, this is obviously a Marek model. It was produced after the clan invasion and uses some of the newer tech that was introduced around the uh, Civil War period. Uh, specifically the Snubnose PPC. Uh, it was designed uh, as a means to get new recruits and cadets involved in using the new tech, getting used to how this different type of PPC works. Uh, as such, they use the 3M uh, unusually because the 3M, as uh, some of you might know, uh, uses an Ultra AC5 as standard, but that was removed uh, for unknown reasons uh, to be jury rigged for this PPC setup. As such, it's a training mech, um, which, uh, much like the original uh, example battle mech that was created, I believe, was that the Merlin, I think? Uh, that was also a training mech that was created. Uh, another mech that I believe was a trainer was the uh, Crockett, uh, used by the Star League. Uh, so th there's a history of uh, training uh, mechs going into the frontline service anyway. Uh, this this is an interesting one just because it's the fact that uh, more often than not, uh, Battletech does like to use its stories of uh, training cadres and uh, bases coming under attack and the cadets having to go out in the mechs that they've been uh, practicing in uh, to go and defend the, the base or the facility. So uh, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if the 3MA had seen uh, combat numerous times uh, on the uh, Inner Sphere front uh, against uh, the likes of uh, Steiner or uh, Hauslau or even some of the uh, periphery states. Uh, it's fun, uh, this one, just out of the off. It comes with uh, two medium lasers as well and a small pulse uh, for anti-infantry work. It's always uh, interesting that uh, the small pulses, the small lasers, the R smalls, are, are basically infantry killing weapons, but uh, Mech Quarry Online, obviously, they're very, very deadly uh, piece of equipment used uh, in close quarters by mechs like the Arctic Cheetah back in the day, uh, fire starters and such. You, you boat enough of those things, it'll tear bigger mechs apart. It's kind of hilarious. Uh, because trying to roll, um, say, six small lasers on, a, on an enemy mech is a, is a lot of rolls and virtually no damage because you end up spreading. Unless you get really lucky rolls, but uh, quite unusual. So, uh, yeah, the main punch of this one is the Snub Nose PPC, uh, one of the retcon weapons that was uh, created around about the Star League era. Um, this was apparently first debuted on Alexander Kerensky's Orion uh, in the current write-up originally he just had a standard Orion and they wanted to I guess make it a little more unique and interesting I guess for the hero of the Star League so yeah his his Orion now has this snub nose BBC and that was one of the first mechs to use it uh, obviously that tech became lost tech and then uh, I guess the idea was once the Helm memory core was found that maybe all the files weren't there or it wasn't complete or whatever it was, but it comes about later on in the Civil War period uh, when you get things like Snub Nose, Light and Heavy PPCs. I like the fact that uh, there's a variant of the Sakura that uses a uh, different PPC type. Uh, it's a bit more a bit more interesting and uh, I've always, always liked PPCs in uh, Battletech and MWO in general. I just wish they'd get the bleed and hit detection to work properly on PPCs. The number of times you fire these things, you know you've hit, you see the effect and everything, and it, it just doesn't register damage. Or if it does, it registers a completely different area of the mech that you just hit, because they've never fixed it. They'll never get around to fix it, because I bet you they don't know how to, unfortunately. Which is sad, because PPCs are really satisfying weapons to use. It's, they have great sound effects of, uh, of awesome uh, effects, and it's just it just feels like you're firing some really, really nasty piece of weaponry at somebody. Uh, it, it's just I think it's much more satisfying for me hitting with PPCs than just laser vomiting at everything, just lots of coloured lasers. So yeah, um, this is a full model. I like it. It's a bit more straightforward. The heat is obviously uh, something to take into consideration. Although it doesn't look like you've got a lot of weaponry, you can generate heat very quickly uh, with the cycle times of all four weapons. So you have to keep that in mind. Um, it's helped immensely by the fact that, again, the Cicada is a very, very um, agile, maneuverable mech, allowing you to quickly extricate, uh, reposition, fire on targets uh, from different angles that they might not necessarily expect it to be at. And it, it's, a, it's a mech that, if it had ECM, Christ, it would be frightening to go up against. Uh, it's a, a very, very uh, effective uh, harasser scout, as pretty much any Cicada is. I don't think there's any kind of frontline Cicadas out there. 
and uh, this is it's worth a go if you haven't tried it. As I said, you can build all of these on the 2A model uh, in the game, which is relatively cheap, being a 40 tonner, they don't cost a huge amount in sea bills. Uh, if you've never tried out uh, any of the cicadas, uh, give them a go. As I said in one of the other videos, that this is one of the oldest mechs in Mechwarrior Online, but if you're relatively new to it and you've not really had a go of all the different weight classes, or you've been looking for something that might fit a certain style uh, of play, this is one of those uh, contenders because it's never really had any issues. I don't really remember anyone saying anything bad about the mech. Uh, I've always found it to be quite reliable, it's fun. Uh, if It's straightforward as well, if you prefer your laser build so you, you don't have to worry about ammunition, that kind of thing, uh, the Cicada's got you covered on that. As I said, lots of good hard points. The arms, barring I think the 2B model are superfluous, so you can armour them or not, or strip them of the armour just so you can put that in other more important locations like the legs and the torsos. And uh, yeah, it's you can get a decent amount of weaponry for a good amount of speed and a mech that's uh, got pretty good hitboxes. So yeah, it's it's worth checking out uh, if you haven't. The three uh, the three MA as a model is fun. Uh, I did quite enjoy uh, running around in this model, although I just exploded there. I uh, can't win them all, and uh, let's face it, I don't normally. I usually lose them all, uh, so we're staying on board anyway. Just so give the rest of the round for this one. I was alive for quite a bit of it. It was a it was a good fight. I felt that there was enough. Uh, I I did enough there to show the ability of the Cicada to move around rapidly and get in changing position and firing. Obviously, this could have also been said to have been, you know, a, uh, another NASCAR, a classic, which we've been discussing with some people on uh, some of the comments on the Warhammer 2C videos recently. So, yeah, the, the Canyon Network is a classic uh, NASCAR map, isn't it? Get, get to the middle and start dancing around that central section, folks. But, yeah, I always like Canyon anyway. I'd be interested in seeing what a Canyon Network snow was going to be like a slightly colder canyon. I don't know. <clears throat> Seems like an odd one, unless there's some kind of drastic change in the way the map is uh, worked out. But I doubt it. It's just going to be—it's going to be a retextured version of this map. It'd be kind of weird to look at, I think. So uh, yeah, this one's about wrapped up. We're getting up to the uh, the, the last one now. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you have a good week. And uh, yeah, if. Uh, if you've had a go of any of the uh, cicadas, let me know. What do you think? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Are they a mech that you would recommend? Uh, or is, uh, is there something that uh, far, far exceeds the poor little cicada? Eh? Let me know. And uh, yeah, have a good one all. Bye!